Hello, welcome to Vault Gaming. I am your host, CJ Pawson, and today we're going to continue the forklift. But before we do, I've made quite a few mistakes in the last episode. <laughs> First and foremost, the mod for the forklift is not by Fully Sick, as I figured it wasn't, but I wasn't sure. It's actually made by Gollywog. So I put all the links down to the mod during the previous one, so now you know I'm sorry about that. It was not by Fully Sick, it was Gollywog. Next up, I made a few mathematical errors. Uh, during the estimate, I accidentally added the repair cost to the replacing cost, you know, the stuff that I purchased. So I took care of that, and let me just pull up this uh, estimate here, because this is what we currently got. The vehicle purchase was $3,904, while the fees was $500. The cost to repair all the broken parts was $1,003, and the parts replaced is actually $23,838, that is after I purchased the engine parts. The frame services was $1,000, which was the welder, the detailing was $100, and the parts sold was $2,012. So, the cost total now is $30,345 with a credit of 2012. That leaves a total of 28333 in the hole. Now, I completely took care of that, and I made a few other errors. <clears throat> but of course, they were putting into the estimate. First off, when I purchased the pistons and piston rings, I accidentally purchased the, well, <laughs> yeah, I purchased the wrong one. Uh, let me show you here. In my inventory here, this is just all the engine parts, I was supposed to get V8 overhead valve C rather than the regular one, as well as the V8 overhead valve C piston ring, uh, rather than the original one. So, you know, obviously I took the purchase price of those and I also put it in the credit as well, so that way we can... Because, you know, people make mistakes all the time. Uh, we're only human. <laughs> Alright, so... The next one, first and foremost, is I forgot to add this in during the last show, which was the Double Shock Absorber set. As you can see, that is in there now, and all of the parts are now on the forklift. So that is all taken care of. So, let's go ahead and build out the engine so we can... Find out if this car is worth it, even after all the basically stupid stuff I did. <laughs> Alright. First and foremost, let's see. Okay, so this is what we have to do. I have to add the block in on this here. So that way, the block is registered with the forklift. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our little legend crane here. Because the crane and the uh, thing over here coexist, so it's hard to make a new engine just by simply doing that. I wish you could though. So, you know, I really wish you could do that, just make the engine straight off of here, especially if you just had the parts to it, that would have been really nice, but unfortunately that is not how the game is made, so unfortunately we're doing it this way, the engine stand, yeah, that's what it is, alright, alright, here, alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the engine on the side because of the lights here they like for new parts for new and shiny parts they make it seriously shiny so 
it's hard to uh, actually. Oh, as you see here, it's like a serious glare, and um, it's actually kind of annoying. But you know, it's also kind of cool that they have that shine there. So it's like a double standard, I guess I'll call it, which is totally my bad. Alright, let's see here. And what I do is I basically just try to put as many of the stuff as I can on one side before switching it out. So that way it's a little bit easier for me. So I don't have to keep twisting and turning it. There it is. There. That's... It's really hard to see what parts I need to put on there with that shine. I'm gonna go ahead and re... I'm gonna go ahead and turn this engine back to where it was. Alright. There we go. Now I can see. Oh my god. All the mistakes I made in the previous episode is ridiculous. Well, you know, now I've, uh, learned the mistakes that I, now that I've learned the mistakes, I can now, you know, hopefully never do it again. Because <laughs> uh, that's really bad. Especially when I'm just trying to get a perfect estimate, things happen, and things don't turn out the way that I plan on. And I was really kind of taken back with this when I saw that I needed 16 spark plugs because usually on an engine it takes 8 because it's a V8 but uh you know I guess since it's a completely different engine like I've never built an engine like this before at this game I'm gonna guess that's why it was so bad because I've actually never dealt had to deal with this type of engine even in my previous uh grind and so it was really interesting trying to see all the parts that I needed for this engine. So that was kind of cool. Alright. There. Alright. Turn it over. And that's the only bad part of shiny new parts is that it like really glows in the under light and that glare kind of makes it hard for me to see what I can put what I need to put on there. So that's why just kind of putting it over here <clears throat> makes it easier for me to see everything. really nice that I actually got to mess with this engine even though I just completely messed it up the first time when I was trying to buy parts to it. So let's hope that this is worth it. Oh, 
let's talk about let's talk about the engine cost. Because I still have it on my phone here. The cost to actually purchase the engine itself was twelve thousand six hundred and ninety-five dollars. Which is wow. <laughs> Cause we had to, cause I had to purchase a whole new engine for it. So that was kind of interesting. Let's hope this forklift is worth it after all of the mess up that did. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. All the stuff I missed or did wrong on that. That's what I was trying to avoid, but, you know, everyone makes mistakes sometimes. Just gotta fix it. And then, never do it again. So now, every time I see the engine, I'm just not gonna buy Pistons or Pistons with Conrad unless I know that's what it has. I'm not- I'm actually gonna be smart for once and look at the parts that it needed. Because it was plain as day, right? in the uh, list that I showed you the other day on the car status. Even just the grind, I still loved it. I love the fact of what this game does. And when I found it in my life, oh my gosh, it was so awesome. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and... It's so shiny! Sorry. Having a little move on a moment. With the, uh. Ah, uh, I forgot his name. With that crab. Oh my god. That movie is so funny. I love a lot of the Disney movies. Uh, some not so much, but. You know, I was always a Disney cartoon renaissance kind of fan. I just love those 90s movies and stuff. They just always took me away and were, some, were just so funny. And now looking at them in real life, or not real life, uh, as an adult, uh, there's a little bit of adult humor in there. Um, and there was this one from a Blue Sky, it's a Ice Age. And it's the, uh, one, it's collision course, but, uh, Buck saves a, uh, pumpkin. And that pumpkin, you know, you know, says it's a girl. And Sid, oh, did, what, what, what? Did I never buy a flywheel? I guess I didn't. I thought I did. Oh my god. How did I miss that? Wait a minute. Let me see here. What? what? Yeah, I never bought a flywheel. Huh. Uh-oh. Okay, then. So let's see here. Uh, two, three, eight, three, eight. I can't believe I never bought the flywheel. Oh my god. I am a mess. Alright, so I'm currently at $24,338 for parts replaced. 
can't believe I never ever replaced. Or I can't believe I didn't purchase the flywheel. What in the world is up with me? That is nuts. Let's see what we got here. So I need the starter and then the transfer case, which obviously we do when we put it on there. Turn it around. Maybe that'll. Um. Okay. Oh, because it goes on the transfer case. Duh. Oh, right then. That's... I should have known that. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and take it off this engine crate here. Engine stand. And we're gonna move that back over to the forklift. And then, now we are going to... Use this engine crane. Boom! All right, go over here. I never bought a V8 gear, oh my God, I am a mess. Jeez, um, I should have known that better. What? Oh, come on. Here, just do it this way, I guess. Um, there it is. Fifteen hundred bucks. Twenty-five thousand eight hundred and thirty-eight. I knew something wasn't right when I just had to buy the transfer case. What in the world? Oh dear. On lifter. Oh. I had to access it from the lifter. Which, you know, I guess I can understand because the modder can only do so much. It's not like they can say, oh, since it's, you know, on uh, a lifter, it's... Or since it's on a forklift, it's not gonna matter. But, um, obviously they can't change that. But, uh, you know, I've, I really wish, uh... Hmm, what do I wish? I wish a lot of things. Eh, never mind. I thought I was, I think, was thinking of something, then I just completely blanked out on it. There's where the starter goes. Okay. <laughs> now that we got that done, let's see what the current status is. Ready? One. Two, three. All right, so everything is 100%. The car value is $37,183 with a $6,197 restoration bonus. So, let's go ahead and add that in. And we'll probably just put the restoration bonus to credit. Obviously, I'm going to change all that when I change the... Uh, Estimate. Alright, so 37,183 plus 6183 plus 2012. Alright, so that would be 8,000 
195 credit. All right, let's sell it. Huh? Did I press no accidentally? Yeah, I did. All right. Now let's take a look at this wonderful estimate. I'm gonna post it right up here, and you will can see if it is worth it buying the forklift, even after every mistake I made. <laughs> All right. This is CJ Paulson, and I will bid you a good day. Thank you.